one of the things you should do is, is add all your products to Google Base. Um, what Google Base is, is if I, if I search for something like Cocker Fabric there, it comes up with this thing here, shopping results for Cocker Fabric. It knows we're in the UK, so it's all in pounds and stuff. Um, and it's basically getting, getting your, your site in here. There's no kind of reason why we shouldn't be doing quite well in some of these these rankings here. So we should be able to get a whole load of products appearing in here. Um, it's the same with something like uh, Darning Mushroom. Oh, if I go back to web search, there you go, shopping results for Darning Mushroom. So it's the, the first thing to appear on on Google, if you search for that term, isn't actually a web page at all. It's it's the shopping results for the, for a darning mushroom. So it's this kind of side of Google that gets neglected, but it's really really easy to do yeah, with the site that we've got. Um, how would you include these on Google Base? Well, you've got um, you've got an account set up already. This is your Google Merchant center is set up under your name uh, there's two that I did earlier um, you got about 2,000 products on there so this list should be about 2,000 long they, this isn't searchable yet because I only did it today so it'll, it'll come around and and hopefully if someone searches for these terms we should start to appear and you should start to see impressions and clicks go up on this right hand side Okay, but the way to do it and the way to get that set up is you have this under catalog, Google Base, Manage Attributes. Um, and this is one I've done already. This is wool. Um, what it does is it takes um, an attribute for one of our products and maps it over. To the Google base so so our product in our store's got a price and Google wants to know what the price of the thing is um, we've I've added in an attribute called Google new and you new or used here and Google has an attribute known as condition so that's whether it's you no know, brand new or used and it's expecting those two things in everything else things like descriptions and stuff like that are already done for us um, if I have a look back in this merchant centre here, the one I've done before, you should see, there you go. Um, that's our listing in the Google Merchant Centre. It does a description for you. Um, it takes the price. Um, there's a condition saying it's new. That's the address that it will go to. Pictures, the whole thing um, is there. So we want to add another product, product um, to that so that this gets filled up with about 2,000 products um, you click on active there status uh, hit show all because the, these haven't got published yet um, and there you go that's the two that we've got there at the moment so go back in here um, that's the attribute set I've got set up. Uh, let's do one for ribbons. Um, so I click on add attribute mapping target country to United Kingdom. Um, the attribute set that we want to go for is ribbon. Uh, and then the Google base item type is products. I'm going to add a new attribute. I'm going to take the price. I'm going to take that price there. Um, and then the other one is okay. It's not going to let me do that yet. Um, let's just save that mapping for the time being. I wanted to add the Google new or used thing, 
but the reason it's not there is when I go onto manage attribute sets and go to ribbon there you go it's not in the list yet so I need to take that Google Know I used and put it in there Google Know I used right and then save that go back to um, the Google base, manage attributes, uh, ribbon, uh, add this new attribute and hopefully there you go Google know are used and then we need to map that to the condition there. Right, save that mapping. That's cool. And then what we should be able to do is go to Google Base, Manage Items. There's a two that have already appeared. Um, and we say view available products. And under here we say we um, do a search for all of our ribbon stuff. And it's not going to allow me to add any of these at the moment. Let's take um, one that I can show you, and then we'll come back to that. Basically, it needs to be a, a configurable product at the moment. Um, so let's take this Wallace Sewell ribbon bundles um, and see if we can add that. I've clicked on that, add to Google base, submit, and it'll probably say no. Yeah, and it's saying I can't do this because I'm missing um, one of the fields that Google's expecting. So, let's go back to where we were, ribbon, search. Wallace Saw Ribbons bundle. Let's take that, copy it, and then go to the manage products on here so we can edit it. Search for that. There it is, there's the configurable product. And that's the two simple products down here. Um, the reason we can't add them to Google Base yet is this visibility thing. But I'll go into that in a second. Let's just add the, the normal ones for the moment. Um, if we edit this, there you go. It's once and over, it's no used. So we're going to have to go for each of them and say it's new. Um, and then hit save. Save. Done. Right. Back here. Click on that. That's Google Base. Hopefully, there you go. This time it's in there. Um, we should be able to go back to our Merchant Center. My products. Show all. Hey, there it is. Uh, and there's all the details of it. So it's not published yet because it will take while a while for Google to um, update all this information. But if someone does a search for that type of fabric in Google, we should get on the Google product list eventually um, and that's the page that they'll be taken to so I've just clicked on that and there you go it'll take you to that page um, okay 